And that's why I really came to Kenya. I came to Kenya because of the cemetery. Uh, because I knew that sitting in your house right there where you are, and sitting in this studio, are people who are the next candidate to add to the wealth of the cemetery. You wrote one book. There's 10 left. Hmm. If you died now, the cemetery robbed us. I came to Kenya because I want you to rob the cemetery. I want you to die empty. I want you to die with nothing else left to do. I want you to die because you poured out all of your dreams, ideas, visions, books, music, inventions, publications, that you died empty. That's the goal of life. Don't die old, die empty. As a matter of fact, one of the greatest statements I ever heard about dying is this statement. I think it's my beautiful statement of dying. It says, it is finished. Hmm. Three words. The guy who said that was only 33 years old. It is finished. He didn't say I was finished. Because we don't die. We are eternal spirits. He says it is finished. I poured out what I came to earth to pour out. Was that the guy on the cross? That's the guy on the cross. All right. Therefore, I remember these things. My goal in life is to help everybody die empty. That's why I come to meet you, Jeff. You wrote a book. I love your book. But I'm thinking, what about the next one that's not released yet? No, there's no sequel. Or the other five. Doc, there's no sequel. Or the other ten. I have no energy. I'm sure it's there. There's no way a man with your story could not have ten stories. Huh. Don't die with my books. <laughs> <laughs> I could, so I, could I want to challenge every Kenyan. Yes. Go to the cemetery and disappoint the graveyard. Mm. Die like the Apostle Paul who said, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. I have been poured out like a drink offering. There's nothing left. I am ready to die. That's the way I want to die. I want to die because there's nothing else to keep me alive. I've done what I was born to do. This to me is the greatest act of service to humanity. To deliver to us what you came to give us. You're doing a good job, but there's more. I believe that what you're dreaming is bigger than what you're doing right now. Wow. I believe you see your own networks that you own. I believe that you have your own studios. I believe I see you producing shows that are syndicated all over the world. You deserve to be heard. Preach, Dr. Preach. Why settle for Kenya when you can have the continent? Hello. You are talented, gifted, you're powerful. You should be publishing a magazine. You should be producing all kinds of t-shirts with your shirt with your name on it. You should be starting maybe a, a line of clothing with your name on it. This is an image we need to see, feel, touch. Hey, don't dive at this stuff, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and that goes for each one of you watching this program. I, like I don't know who you are, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you're a politician, maybe you're a baker, a mechanic, a teacher in a classroom, maybe you are a student, maybe you're unemployed. Listen, your future is not ahead of you. It's on the inside. Decide tonight to germinate your seed, get the right people around you, buy some good books, shut the TV off, accept this show, and feed yourself the right information to germinate your dream. And when you die, die like I'm planning to die, empty. <laughs>